Welcome to Learning iMovie. My name is Steve Martin, and I'm here with my partner, Mark Spencer, and uh, we both run a training company called RippleTraining.com, and we wanted to focus on iMovie. And why, why iMovie, Mark? Well, it's interesting. I mean, these days, everybody shoots video. You know, video's available on your iPhone, video's available on the cameras you carry around that shoot still and video, so everybody's shooting tons of video. And everybody wants to tell a story, and everybody needs to use video to tell their story these days, whether it's a business or for personal use. Right, and you might say that iMovie is the most popular editing system on any platform because it ships free with every Macintosh. Exactly, free with every single Mac. So we thought we would do something to help people be able to jump into iMovie to take advantage of all this media that they have, all these video clips, and be able to tell their stories. Right, so we're presenting learning iMovie as a series of short lessons that you can just jump into and get your head around iMovie so you can actually start telling your stories right, right away. Exactly, and we're covering uh, the entire iMovie application from importing your media to editing it to how you share your movie at the end. So, I think we should probably just jump in and get started with uh, showing iMovie. Let's do it. To get started, let's take a look at iMovie's interface and basic workflow. Here, I've opened a library that contains some video and projects so we can see all the parts of the interface populated with content. The iMovie interface consists of a single window. Let's have the window fill the screen by clicking this green button at the top left corner. You can also use iMovie in full screen mode by choosing Window, Enter Full Screen. Now the menu bar appears only when you move the pointer to the top of the screen. The iMovie interface contains five work areas, the toolbar on top, the sidebar on the left, the browser, the viewer, and the timeline. You use the toolbar to kick off each of the three main steps to making a video, importing media, creating a movie, and sharing your clips or projects. The buttons at the far right of the toolbar are used to make changes to your video and audio clips, and the buttons in the center allow you to switch between the library view when working on your movies and the theater view for viewing your completed movies after you've shared them. Let's reselect the library. The sidebar contains the library's list at the top. A library is a container for your media and projects. At the bottom is the content library, which includes several categories of media that you can add to your projects. The browser is where you view your clips, rate them, make selections, and add them to your project. You also use the browser to locate and open projects. Let's select the iMovie library in the libraries list. All the projects and media contained in this library appear in the browser. The items inside the library are called events. Events are like folders that help you organize your video, photos, and sound clips. Let's select an event. Now the browser shows just the projects and or media within that event. Projects are the movies you create with the media and are identified by the film slate looking thumbnail. If you select all projects in the sidebar, you'll see projects from all events. Let's double click this project to open it. When you open a project, it appears in the timeline. The timeline is where you build your movie by adding clips from the browser and media from the content library. You can change how much of the project is visible by dragging the zoom slider at the top right, like this. The viewer lets you see the contents of either clips in the browser or the contents of your project in the timeline. If you move the mouse pointer over a clip in the browser, you'll see a thin vertical line called the skimmer. Moving the skimmer over a clip displays the clip's contents in the viewer to the right. You can also move your skimmer over any clip in the browser and skim in any direction. Skimming is a fast way to get familiar with your media before adding it to your project. You can also skim your project by moving the mouse pointer into the timeline. As you skim right or left, the content appears in the viewer. This vertical white line with the triangle on top is called the playhead. You can move the playhead anywhere in the movie by clicking in the gray area above any clip. You can also click and drag on the top of the playhead to move it. Let's move the playhead to the start of the project and then press the space bar to play the project.
You can adjust the relative size of the browser, viewer, and timeline depending on where you want to focus your attention. To do so, drag on the top of the timeline like this. And you can swap the location of the timeline and the browser if you like. From the window menu, choose Swap Project and Event. Choose the same command again to swap them back. The workflow for working in iMovie is very straightforward and is identified by the three icons at the top left of the toolbar that we mentioned earlier. The first step is to import your media either from a camera or a folder. The second step is to create a project. If we click the Create button, we see that we have a choice of either a movie or a trailer. We'll create both types of projects in this tutorial. And the third step is to share your work. Click the Share menu to see different destination options for sharing your project. Steve, great. That was awesome. So now that we've got a good feel for the overall interface, let's dive in and start a project by importing some media. Sounds great, Mark.